So guys, so you can see I just woke up, um, still didn't wash my face uh, because it's like 6.30 and I think the sun rises on 6.50 I guess. But I wanted to show you this view because this view is like very very beautiful and uh, it's a bit cold. Uh, uh, like we were staying in the tent as I shown you the tents and the tents are like all wet. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, let me show you the view. So this is this is like wonderful like breathtaking So guys, it's 6.55 and I woke up at 6.35, I guess. So 6.50 is actually sunrise time and it's already 6.55, but you won't be able to see the sun because it's a bit cloudy here. But so we slept in the tent and um, I slept like really, really well, which was beyond my expectation because I thought that maybe, you know, in the tent it will be cold and I won't be able to sleep. but. Uh, it was nothing like that. I slept like, you know, if I, you know, if I slept like, I feel like if I slept home. But anyway, um, so it's a little bit chilly. It's not very cold. So you can see I have my jacket on. But the place is wonder, wonder, wonderful. Um, so I'm going to show you the view. So let's check it out. So actually yesterday we got here around 2 p.m. and I was a little bit tired and you know I didn't eat anything um, in the morning I just had like a um, like lentil soup which is very famous in China uh, plus a kind of bread and I didn't eat much so because I thought because we were told that we will have like barbecues here for the lunch and when we got here it was late and it was raining and then like you know they give us barbecue and they give us to like do it for ourselves and then we spent like an hour uh burning up the coal because it was a little bit cold and also raining and i don't know like what happened what was wrong with the cold but anyway we burned it up finally and we tried some barbecue and i i had like chicken hearts like a stick but it just like you know i didn't like i didn't really like it so i couldn't eat that much but uh yeah and then i had some apples some cakes and a monster <laughs> so i had that and that was it for my whole day so i was kind of like you know not very satisfied with the food but it was nice it was okay um and then you know um it got very dark and i was trying to film in the dark but i just couldn't film anything because you know um there is no light it's all these mountains and water so I couldn't film in dark. So, you know, I decided that I have to get up early in the morning and, and show you some videos because the, the, the area is worth visiting and the view is like worth watching and worth enjoying. So I, I got up early this morning. Um, so here you go. I'm going to show you some beautiful, wonderful scenery. Um, so right now I'm, friend, I'm in front of the Great Wall Lake. Um, so let me give you a glimpse.
So you may wonder that, you know, like Great Wall is Great Wall and there is no water. So let me tell you, this is actually, uh, this is actually the part of the Great Wall that is in the water, that is submerged in the water. Um, so this is located in the Huayra district. So the other one is, um, I don't remember, the other one is in the other district, but this one is like in the Huayra district of China. So this part of the wall is kind of like submerged, you know, in the water. Um, so yeah, um, and it is called like, I think, Huanghu Great Wall. So last night we actually came here. This is a sand, you can see. The view is like very beautiful. So last night we came here and they brought like speakers and, um, you know, turn on the music and you can see, I'm gonna show you these uh, footprints. So they were actually dancing here, you know, with this song. And all of them were, some of them were sitting there on the bench and then some of them were dancing here like for, for like a couple of hours. And I, I, I really wanted to film that, but I couldn't film because, um, Again, it was very dark, like you can see there is no light. So I tried to film, but it just couldn't work. But it was a lot of fun, and um, yeah. So we were... Guys, there are no more steps here. We have no to more steps you to jump off the wall. Guys, look at this. We have to jump off the wall. There is no more stairs. Got it. So guys, now you can see it's like super steep, like so dangerous. Feels like you are climbing down and climbing up the wall. All right, so this is the glass bridge that you can see, and I'm right now on the glass bridge. Um, it's not very scary as I thought that it would be, because maybe it's not like that transparent or it's not that clean, but it's still. But it does move. You feel like you know you're gonna fall down. Um, but it is nice. Uh, the weather is a bit hot, but it is a nice one. So this is a glass bridge. If you, you know, if you've never seen them, this is the one for you. It's not that scary, isn't it? Yeah, maybe because it's just not very clean, so you don't actually see the water. Mm -hmm. But it does move. So we came up all the way here. You can see all those stairs. And that's the, the, the glass bridge that I just showed you. Let me show you something else. That's the cable car track and you can see it's still there. I'm so thirsty, let's take a sip of water.
So we got big to replace, so our, big, our bags are still there. We're gonna, I think, we're gonna wait for an hour and then we gotta leave at 12 for Beijing. I think we are still in Beijing, but for our home. Yeah, because that's what the tourist guide told us to um, come to the picking point at 12. And that's Marius, tired. Yeah. Mm -hmm.